in the verses. My name is DeAndre Robinson, and these are my friends. Say hello, friends. Hello, friends. My name is Evan Hamataki, a.k.a. 100% uh, confirmed negative on COVID. <laughs> wow. Hey, friends. This is Cam, a.k.a. a pimp named Slipback. A pimp <laughs> named Slipback. <laughs> Uh, nice. this, your, this your boy CJ, aka Cheesecake Lover. <laughs> How come you, you named it grocer and grocer? <laughs> All right, this is basically of comedic debates. We'll be debating the most unlikely of topics oh. we have today. And first is the, the best rapper of the 21st century. And to start off, Evan, you're first. The, uh, my best. Uh, my, my absolute favorite rapper of all time. It doesn't matter what generation it is. Uh, my number one rapper of the 21st century is a man that goes by the name of Aaron Dantes Yates. Now, if y'all don't know who the fuck Aaron Dantes Yates is, get up on your shit. That's Tech Nine. All right, Tech Nine is the highest selling independent music artist of all time. He doesn't need a record label. He said, fuck a record label. But he does have his own record label, Strange Music. Uh, Tech Nine is the definition of having an extremely big underground catalog and then bursting into the mainstream and still keeping that same style that he used to have. There are some other rappers on this list who, once they went mainstream, it changed them up a little bit. Um, th granted, they're still good, uh, but in, in my opinion, if I were to pick my, my ultimate, I, I need someone to write a verse to save my life that's going to fucking slap, I'd pick Tech 9 I, I think um, a, a lot, there are a lot of people in this world who don't know who the fuck Tech 9 is. Um, and it, it's a shame. I started listening to my, my cousin Jeffrey introduced me to Tech 9 when I was like 10 years old. And I've been listening to him ever since. I got every album, all his mixtapes, all that shit. So uh, I'm extremely biased. He's my favorite rapper. So he's, he, in my opinion, he's the, he's the best ever, not just of the 21st century. All right. Uh, I'm going to go first. Um... And I know that at least a lot of my friends are going to hate me for saying this, but I am not the biggest Tech Nine fan. Uh, I should be, but I'm not. Outside of Worldwide Choppers, I sh I, uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is I should be a big Tech Nine fan, but because the, the style of rap I like and the kind of music I like, I should be a big Tech Nine fan. It doesn't stick to me. For some reason, his music doesn't stick to me. Now, again, Worldwide, Worldwide Choppers is amazing. I, I, I fuck that song heavy. But I, I, uh, I just, it, it doesn't stick to me. I, I don't know why. All right, CJ's on you. All right, hey. Yo, I love me some Tech 9 You know, I think he's one of the few rappers that can, that can actually, like, uh, match uh, my rapper. Like, you know, with his flow and with intensity, you know, it's just, you know, it, it, you know, yeah, I don't like his, like, how he, like, just disappear on me, you know, it's like, yeah, yo, like, one day I'm fucking just cool, fucking vibing with him and shit, and the next day he's fucking gone like a fart in the wind, you know, and I can't find him, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if it's that just me and I'm, like, missing some shit, or if he just, he's just, just fucking peering. You just missing you know? some shit, he's had, like, 17 yeah. albums since 2000. Yeah, and oh, and my question is like, oh, and how the fuck are you gonna say he don't need a label? Then he created a label. You know, you caught your district ass motherfucker. It's his, no, but, anyway, it's, yeah. but it's but it's his that's, label. That's all I gotta say about Tech Nine. You know? that's all, yeah, if he didn't need it, he wouldn't have created it. But anyways, that's all I gotta say about Tech. All right, Cam's on you. Okay, um, I like Tech Nine as an artist. I think he's cool. I always. I appreciate everyone's underground phase, but like I always look forward to a point where you don't have to do that anymore. It's so much work to go get underground music, like as a listener. <laughs> like, I really don't want oh, yeah. me having to listen to your music to be like homework. I want it to be readily available. <laughs> you are supposed, if you're a major artist, it shouldn't be hard to get to your work. Um, and so that's one of the things that even though I think Tech 9 as a rapper is cool, but as far as for the best, uh, you know, since 2010, which was the category that we were talking about. 2000. 
I thought we said to, is after, if, after 2010. We I said 21st we were, century. Anyway, yeah, 20th century, 21st century. I still don't want to have to use LimeWire to get your music. So it is what it is. Tech Nine, you're a bomb rapper. And as soon as you became available on iTunes, it was better for me. Shout out, shout out to LimeWire for wrecking my computer for giving me the dopest playlists. <laughs> I had never had a LimeWire or Apple Music. So yeah, that might have been my problem. Believe that, because your computer act like it still got LimeWire on it. <laughs> All right, Cam's on you. All right, so for my choice for best rapper of the 21st century, I do want to first hit uh, an honorable mention that is, like, oh, Lord. super important for me. Um, one of my other ones was actually chosen, so you guys will hear it later. Uh, my honorable mention is J. Cole. I feel like J. Cole has always been like that jet that just flew like right under the radar, like still killing it, but not like something everybody's talking to in the clubs constantly. Uh, yes. And if you ever see this jet, ever, just like ever, even if I'm 82, what's up though? Like, oh, if we shooting shots, hey, uh, like, I'm not I'm not into men, but Childish Gambino, if you see this, let's make a track. <laughs> Let's make the track. Evan, you, to make, you can't use it. You can't do the track until we talk about the seasoning thing. <laughs> I, I, hello. Okay. Did we not all go through our rap phase? I rapped in high school. Did you really? Uh huh. That'll be a separate conversation. Oh. Was that my choice for best rapper for the twenty first century? Is Lil Wayne. Here's the reasoning. One of the first things was. Definitely, obviously, his own numbers. Um, but another really big thing for me was him pretty much fire starting a whole bunch of other careers that are big now. Another thing for you to be bomb as fuck and then make some other bomb as fuck artists and like create and mold them and still see them going out today, killing it. So for that, I wanted to make sure that he got his respect. He is a little bit different in 2020, but as far as for overall, in the, as far as the 21st century, majority of the 21st century thus far, he's killing the game. So that's my choice. All right, uh, CJ, CJ. All right, yeah. All right, I ain't gonna lie. You know, he got some. He got some good songs. You know, some good club misses and shit. You know, yeah. And, you know, I mean, some of the songs have catchy lyrics, but I've never really considered him negative a rapper, like not at all. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of questioning why he's even on this list. I think that good. Now, my real beef with him is how, yo, know, he brought in these like these shitty, these shitty ass fucking like one word rappers, you know, you know just with these, oh, oh, it's just like the standards and everything is just is stupid as hell. All right, Nicki Minaj, she could change her shit up a bit, you know, she's better, but uh, Drake is garbage. But then that also opened the door for these fucking mumbo rappers. Yeah, no, if Tupac and Biggie were alive, they would have murked Lil Wayne in the first place. You know, there would have been no, there would been no Drake, and then none of the mumbo rappers would have been in there. You know, they wouldn't even have a chance. So, yeah, yeah I'm just saying, that's the deal. I'm just saying my piece, all right? Yeah. You know, uh, he, like I said, he got some good shit back in the day, but, uh, you know, kind of fuck him. I hate when I say this, but I feel like the Wayne's best album was Carter Three. I love Carter Three. Like, but that's not a perfect album, but it was close to a perfect album from Wayne. The Carter Three is. A, um, he did bring out some really good talent. What was he did said? He did bring out some really good talent. Uh, Drake, Nicki. If you like Tiger, Tiger. Uh, <coughs> Uh, however, you said that he, <laughs> you said that he was the reason why a couple of big name rappers is out. But he was, but Young Money has, has some motherfuckers that shouldn't be rapping at all. Uh, uh, Swiss. Right? <laughs> Wayne is not one. Yeah. Wayne is not even in my top eight. I think of, of rappers of all time. Thank you. He's not. It's not because that. It's because. Being from Philly and knowing that Gilly versus Wayne beef and knowing that Gilly, Gilly the Kid wrote most of Wayne's stuff, he, he didn't write, he didn't most of Wayne's stuff, and, and some of his stuff great wrote. So, that just bit, went down for me a little bit, because knowing that he didn't write his stuff, um, he, he had some stuff that I can, I can rock to. 
Okay. Uh, to piggyback what CJ said, in my opinion, Wayne sucks. I said it. <laughs> Wayne, yeah. I'm, I'm right here. You want some? I'm here. I don't give a shit. Um, I don't like how Wayne makes music. Okay. I would rather listen to some of these mumble rappers nowadays than put on a Wayne track. Lil Wayne brought a young actor from Toronto, Canada named Aubrey Graham to the world and gave us Drake. Okay. <laughs> Say what you want about Drake. Drake makes bangers and you hear him in the club all the fucking time. I will never forgive Lil Wayne for bringing in the biggest hot flaming piece of garbage that is Nicki Minaj. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. What? To, to Nikki's, Nikki's defense, just like you said, like uh, when you go underground and, you went, and when you go mainstream, you change. Her underground mixtapes, her mixtapes were fire. But, this point in time, I, I've never heard Nicki Minaj's underground shit because I didn't care to dive deep into her background like that because she, her main, what I've heard of her is straight trash. Her, Cardi B, any of the fucking, like, there are legitimate great female rappers out there, but they are getting, like, outshined by these fucking terrible pieces of plastic that are Nicki, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Okay, so I want to say something because this is something that I feel like I kind of need to say as the person with the vagina in the group. What <laughs> women are forced to do in order to be hyper successful in the industry is not their fucking fault. It's either you're willing to do it or you're not, but it com- obviously comes at a cost because it usually will water down your music, it will hypersexualize your image, shit like that. If I'm just keeping it at a pure lyrical standpoint, I do not fuck with Nicki Minaj's music either. Her 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 music isn't good to me. If, if it's anything, whatever. If it's anything more than that, you know, I you're right. I shouldn't attack her physicality, blah blah blah, because that is who she is. But literally, her music is dumpster fire. So, so I, I do want to pick back what what Cam said because because. Yes, I, I, I will. I one hundred percent agree, mostly of what Cam said. What, what women have to do. <laughs> I hundred percent agree, mostly. Yeah. So what? What, what women? I have thought to that's do, you, CJ. What women yeah. have to do to get mainstream in the industry right now is the dumbest shit ever. You gotta you have to put fake shit on to get to make money, and it wasn't like that. In the early 2000s and the 90s, we had Queen Latifah, MC Light, Eve. They have to be plastic. They have to sexualize a lot of, a lot of stuff. I mean, I mean, I, I, I kind of wish that the industry would go back to that. But but Kim is right though. Kim, you have to like basically say you were sucking a dick on, on a track to make people like you, and it's fucked up. Right. So, but, but in reality though, back to Wayne, I just, I, I never can get into Wayne's music because it's, it's not great to me. And, and I listen to rap music for musicality, for lyricism. I don't listen for Lil Wayne to come into a fucking studio half fucking drugged out and, you know, say some couple of noises on the fucking, and wow, I like the Wayne lasagna. Like, <laughs> I just made a Wayne track right there. But you wish, <laughs> and even even more, I would not put Wayne top twenty five all time for me. Oh damn! There are so many better artists out there. So um, it's, it's, I'm, I'm gonna go next. So I have some opera mentions as well. All right, uh, Cam took my opera mention at first. Shout out to J Cole. J Cole is amazing. J J Cole. I mean, if, if it wasn't other for other rappers, J Cole. J Cole is my top five of all time. Me personally. He is on my top five of all time. I, I would mention this, right? I, I have four of them. So that's uh, Andre 3000. Andre 3000 could get it. <laughs> <laughs> my second one is Shout to, shout to Common. Oh, Common. Hell yeah. Shout to Common. If you want to talk about underground shit, shout to Hobson. Shout to Kanye West. Listen, his music. I'm not saying what, like, what shit he's doing now, but Kanye West. In the 2000s, you couldn't you could fuck with Kanye West. Period. I still, to this day, know a college dropout from beginning to end. So my pick is Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. You really can't find a bad album K. Dot did. And his mixtapes are fire. Cam is fucking amazing. All right. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar, like, nobody really can hold Kendrick Lamar from maybe 2011, 12 to now. 
Like, there's no better rapper than Kendrick Lamar outside maybe the, the, the fourth pick. Uh, and maybe J. Cole. Not even J. Cole. I love Cole, but I still pick Kendrick over Cole every single fucking day. <laughs> I'll pick Kendrick over Cole every single day. I'll, you damn right. Because, you know why? Because because of damn. Listen, listen, they, they were neck and neck, but then we we, we dropped damn. It was a fucking amazing. It was still a, a perfect fucking album. People still, people still bump 2014 Forest Hills Drives like nobody's business. And people, I'm just throwing that out. And, and Cole hasn't released an album since, and it still holds water. He, 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 he did do he did do a couple of albums after that. When? It has uh, 1985 in it. That's what it's called. It had 1985 in it. All that kind of good shit in it. Oh, it's 1985 Rodeo Drive or something like that? Something like that. But Kendrick, Kendrick, my pick for this topic. But no, so uh, me and DeAndre have had some arguments about the whole Kendrick Lamar versus, uh, or, sorry, Kendrick Lamar album being better. Uh, he, he prefers Damn. I prefer To Pimp a Butterfly because I feel To Pimp a Butterfly is more artist Kendrick versus, you know, like gritty, like gangster and fucking like, I'm going to fuck you up, but I'm also going to stand for something, Kendrick. Um, they're both great albums. Do not get me wrong. Um, can we shout out Kendrick Lamar, though, for being one of the only people, like only mainstream artists who managed to create an entire soundtrack for a movie? Because he created the entire Black Panther soundtrack by himself with, with, with a handful of other artists, but it was mainly Kendrick. Um I, it's it's hard for me to go against Kendrick because I actually really like Kendrick Lamar, um, and you know, in terms of just the hardest thing for me is putting Kendrick up there because I felt like when I first heard Kendrick, I was like, this dude is potentially going to be what Tupac never got the chance to fully live out his life to be, um, and so it's. It's interesting, like, when I look at the whole Kendrick and J. Cole situation, I always think of it as a, it's a Tupac and Biggie without the beef. Um, just in, in the terms of their talent and their creativity and their ability to make beautiful music. Um, but with Kendrick, I, I, I would definitely say Ken, Kendrick for me, is he's top 10 all time for me. Um, personally speaking, I, I just feel that my guy or even the guy that is still to be named is just it, it's it's better, but Kendrick still has so much time left to continue making great music that I don't I don't foresee him stopping anytime soon. So I think that's what's going to be the benefit to him is you know he will surpass Tupac in a lot of people's eyes as one of the best rappers ever because and for one because he had the time. So uh, with that being said, it's it's not a bad pick. It's just it's it's hard for me to go against my person or the one other person that's yet to be named because the one other person that's yet to be named spoiler alert, is my second fa- like my second favorite rapper of all time. All right, Cam's on you. Um, one, Evan, that was so beautiful. I can be nice too. I'm not an asshole always. <laughs> that, was like, that was a nice little pretty much <laughs> nice little clip right there. Um, I don't have a lot that I can say that I don't like about Kendrick. Kendrick is. He's, he's, oh, damn, he's pretty much top five for me. Um, and so my only thing I like the I tried to think about the category as a whole. And as far as for like 21st century, he didn't really come in until maybe like 2010, 2009, 2010, 2011, somewhere in there. So I just feel like. He's just, There's a lot of missed time. Such a there. baby. Now, don't get me wrong. He's done a lot within that, what, 10 years that he's been out. And really, he's, his popularity has probably grown within the last, I mean, I want to say maybe five or six. Um, but if time continues and 2020 doesn't kill all of us, I'm sure he will continue to rise. But as far as for out the 20 years we have thus far, he's only made an impact for a fraction of that. And so that was my only critique. But yeah, do let me some K dot. All right, CJ's on you. Yeah, honestly, you know, I'm not really good. I'm not really good with names. I'm gonna keep up with shit. I 
Yeah, I heard the name Kendrick Lamar, but I didn't really know any of his shit for this. Like, not at all. I was, so while I was fucking researching, you know, listening to this shit, you know, I found a few songs that, like, oh, I actually knew. But, you know, like I said, I listen to songs. I don't know who they're by. I don't, I, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. You know, and there's a few good ones that I like, but, like, just a few. You know, I listen I listened for, like, an hour, and, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just listening to the wrong ones or what, because I, you know, I couldn't really get into it. You know, I don't know, maybe, it's me. maybe I just need to listen to more, and I was just listening to the wrong songs, but I honestly just couldn't get into it. All, you know, our Marvel fans. When you watched Black yeah. Panther, you wasn't bumping during that car chase at Black Panther, where you were just like, oh, this song is hitting. Like, that didn't happen for you? Honestly, in that movie, I wasn't really thinking about the songs at all. I was looking at like, the action and what was going on. I wasn't really thinking about the song. I think, you know, I never, I never thought about it. It never dawned on me that, like, no, I wasn't really bumping during the songs in Black Panther. Shit. DJ's on you. Oh, yeah, I got a couple honorable mentions. All right, first off, but, yeah, Ja Rule. Ja, ja Rule do the big in the 2000s. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Right. Yeah. yeah, I know, my boy, they can't do Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing big things in 2000. Like, yo, everybody know. I'm my boy, Eminem. Motherfucking Eminem, number one. You know, yeah, I you, he's, yo, he's got the fucking skills, you know. You know, his skills are undeniable. You know, endeavoring every person he, uh, you know, every person he, like, like, features on the track with, you know, yeah, he fucking dude, makes him feel like a backup singer. You know, he's that good. Hey, oh, except for Tech Nine, though. Like I said, it's, no, Tech Nine can fucking yeah, Tech Nine can match him for fucking you know fucking skill and fucking intensity. I just think even the flow is a little better. I think he's just li- I think he's a little better in Tech. You know, but no, oh, I mean, Eminem's like just all around, all around the shit. And he's actually been on a few tracks with Lil Wayne. You know, it made Lil Wayne look like a you know, look like a, like a tongue tied sick little baby. <laughs> Every day is just shit around. Oh, especially if you try to fucking come at him. Especially you fucking uh, try to catch him out of pocket. Oh, oh no. MG, MGK you know, knows. MGK knows. Yeah, yeah. What's the last thing you heard from that motherfucker? Well, I mean, he yeah. made some corny ass shit since then, but MGK knows. Oh. No, he's tr- no, he's trying to pick himself up after fucking Eminem knocked him the fuck out. Yeah, that's really all I gotta say. So I'm, I'm gonna go first. I, I know, I want everybody to know this right now. I was gonna get CJ the I can't fuck with this answer award because Eminem is my favorite rapper of all time, hands down my favorite rapper of all time. Uh, I love Eminem. Yeah. However, when when she just said on some bullshit, how can you put Ja Rule? Uh, oh yeah, no, I never. I'm gonna mention. You know, yeah, you know who else is doing good? Fifty Cent. Yeah, Fifty Cent was doing a hell of good in fucking 2000. I'm oh, sorry, Ja Rule and, <laughs> uh, and Nick Cannon and don't like Wayne. Uh, like, oh come, come, oh god damn it, TJ. So, and like I said, I, I can't, I can't really fuck, I can't really break down in you know, you know, my favorite rapper of all time of all his albums. Like literally, everything he put out is amazing to me. Uh, Evan, so you. Um, to rotate back to the last segment, um, Eminem is my second favorite rapper of all time, um, behind the great Aaron Dantes Yates, aka Tech Nine. Um, she won't stop saying that whole man name. <laughs> hey, one of the best lyricists to ever exist, other than Tech Nine. But my the only I, I love Eminem with a passion, but the only issues I have with Eminem are fucking the recovery album. Like his middle set of yeah. albums were not the greatest, and it it hurt. But yeah, even, yeah. He's, even he's turned his shit around, so I can't I can't fault him too much for that. Um, the, everyone's gonna have a bad album, and you know, it's it's hard to go against Eminem because, like I said, he's my second favorite rapper of all time. So, um, one more shout out, shout out, little Dicky. He's uh, <laughs> he's talented. <laughs> little Dicky's hilarious. He's talented. He got skills. Anyways, got moving skills. moving on, uh, Cam. All right, so Marshall Mathers. I dare you. Yeah, you just told Evan not to use his whole name. You going to do that to fuck Eminem? Obviously, he's a great rapper. That's not something anyone can actually say. Who's, like, you don't have no solid ground to say, like, to, and say that he's not a great rapper. Um, 
again, as far as for overall category, when I think of the greatest rapper, I think of your music. I think of your effect on the culture. I think of uh, your performance factor, all of that stuff as far as for an overall score. Um, like Evan said, Marshall Mathers is a remarkable lyricist. For real? <laughs> performance quality, like live, isn't that great? Um, what? He, what fucking shows a, have you he, been to? He, wow. a, he, he could do the exact same thing. Like he can rap the exact same way sitting on a stool in the middle of it. And don't get me wrong, that is a talent. I never be like, damn, you know what I really want to see? Eminem, I heard he was crazy crazy on the stage last time. You never hear that shit. It's because he's no. old. He not old man like, now. Like, even back then, not really. He, that wasn't his thing, and that's okay. But that wasn't his thing. But Eminem had the best, <laughs> Eminem had the best hype men with him. Okay, and that wasn't him. That was like D12. Or someone just takes slow blows with big words. Okay, that is all. Motherfucker, you two little way. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> your argument is in void. We can't even see your face, CJ. Shut up. Like <laughs>